I'm pretty sure we could have um, done that guy on my first try, actually, if I dialed in. But I'm totally happy with uh, two runs on the boss. Because um, whenever I just get a boss on my first try, it feels like it cheapens the, the experience a lot, you know, you know what I mean? Also, we missed this uh, eavesdrop earlier. Like, if I get a boss on my first try, I feel like I, I, I jammed my way through that. And I'd only really like that if I um, didn't enjoy the encounter in the first place, you know what I mean? Because uh, if I um, get to try again, I might see some of the, more in more the intricacies of the actual encounter, you know? Big boy, do not see me, please. Please do not see me, big boy. He's blind, he can't see me. Can I assassinate this guy without uh, fearing I will be noticed by this boy here? Eh, what heck. Science. Science prevails. In my favor. Good stuff. You love to see it. Ah, bless these guys with no peripheral vision as well. Good stuff. You don't uh, drop, uh, like, leave your um, experience behind on the floor in this game, do you? You kind of just like lose it permanently, I think. But it's also like not a big deal, because uh, uh, it seems like it's very easy to to, to get a bunch of it from enemies. So. That's a guy that got a hand. And uh, the air? Yes. He does have a very big bow. I'm not sure what's up with the remnants. How that works. Are we allowed, are we actually gonna be psychic as well? Bloop. Wait a second. Why is Pokemon game being recorded at 30 FPS? Now that's weird. Why is my OBS freaking out today? It's doing some weird shit. Hang on, bear back. And we're back. You'd swear I, I didn't like test these things, but I do. I do, I, I test every time. But, um,. I, I somehow missed that uh, OBS changed my FPS option to 30 rather than 60. That's so weird. That's so weird. I, I swear, OBS keeps changing my options. It has been doing for all the time I've, I've used the OBS. It's always like swap my options around. And it keeps confusing the hell out of me. Uh, it must be something I'm doing. But I feel like OBS is like selective about what it remembers or something. It's very strange. Like... It, it shouldn't have been on 30 FPS, and, and yet it was. It's so strange. Man, I think doing that butterfly lady before this guy has helped me a lot. Because the damage I'm doing to him is super fucking good. And it's not, like, not even that tanky to begin with, you know? So I'm just like... I'm just like toasting this guy. Just the styling on him. Love the grapple attack for the for this fight. That's really nice. They have so much. Are you like some sort of zombie, sir? Yeah. See, I would totally expect uh, to be trampled right there, and it just didn't uh, happen. So the horse is a lot scarier than um, 
It actually is. Well, the horse is less scary than they actually might think, rather. Horses are pretty scary. They're just really big. Really big and really dumb. But they're probably sweet, right? Are horses sweet? I don't know. There, there is a whole, there's a bunch of horses uh, around where I live now. Because I live kind of on the verge of the countryside. And there's also like a um, horse race uh, stadium here. So I guess there's a lot of like uh, horse breeders and stuff around here. Or maybe not horse breeders, but like horse ranches, I guess. And um, so on my daily walks to the shop, there's like a bunch of horses all over the place. Uh, when I walk past, sometimes they'll like come and check me out and like, hey, I'm here now, I'm a horse. You wanna pet me? And I'm like, sure, I'll pet you. But then like, nah, you suck. And they, they, they leave. <laughs> but I don't know, I think they're cool. They're just very big though in Oofish. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, Gyobu on Eva. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battles to permanently increase attack power. Lovely. Mechanical barrel. Ooh, is that a gun uh, tool? Mechanical metal barrel that can be given to a sculptor to enable prosthetic tool upgrades. Re reinforced core is uh, sure to make a shinobi's fangs even sharper. Blah, 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 blah. It fits uh, my shinobi arm. Upgraded prosthetic tools can be created. It appears to be giving me tutorials as if I didn't know about a bunch of stuff. I, I guess I bunch, got a bunch of stuff now because I went to the Ashina castle before the game necessarily expected me to do a bunch of that content, right? <laughs> because I've already gone through a bunch of that. I don't know what the barrel's gonna do though. I guess it's a gun? It's gotta be a gun, right? Is that a Buddha statue? I think that's a Buddha statue. Boah. And we caught up with the... Um, uh, current progress I've ever made uh, in this game. Uh, I've never gotten uh, uh, farther than this because uh, I never played more than this. Gyobu Oniva once led a group of infamous bandits but was defeated by Ishin, who was so captivated by his own strength that he took him in as an Ashin warrior. By show of strength, I can't read. <laughs> Oniva would later go on to become Genichiro Ashina's most trusted retainer. And we got the attack power, most importantly. Oh no, 50% MC Nate, oh no. Whatever shall I do? Can we level up anything, actually? We only got three skill points. Uh, yeah, it costs two. We might as well get it. We can get that, and we can get uh, this runner slide. So we can get the Shinobi eyes later. Perfect. I'm not entirely sure how to do a run slide. I guess that's it. Alright, that uh, seems marginally useful. And we can try the Night Jar Slash as well by whipping on. That's kind of nice. Um, I'm assuming there's either some iframes to that dodge there, or... It's just helpful because it uh, helps me close some distance. I think I'm leaning towards the spinning attack being more useful. But I didn't get that much use from it, to tell you the truth, right? I was mostly just accidentally doing it and uh, getting a wee bit punished for it, you know? <laughs> oh, hello, it's a guy. A vendor? Oh my god, it's a vendor! hand. Sure thing. What can you offer me? Oh! That's a cure, isn't it? It is. Aha! And if you purchase a light coin purse, we can bank our money. Fair enough. Oh, the god Cedo. 
firecrackers. Okay, so we want to get like either 500 coins or 1000 coins. There we go. That's 1000. That's a gold seed. Beautiful. I don't think there was uh, anything else. Alright, so I don't really want to sell anything else here. Mean that for the rest of our money, I guess we'll save for Robert's uh, firecrackers. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure I heard the firecrackers be really good as well, right? Good old Robbie. I don't think you're a good lad. You're a good lad. That's a... Te Tengu, right? It's got like a Tengu mask. No, it's not a Tengu. It's got a Tengu, Tengu mask. Mm, I love that in a man. Then I will let you live because you have no name. He's very tall. <laughs> yeah, that was, I guess he's the one that names us. I didn't realize that. I'd love to. Oh, are they running for president as well? Better get your rat poison. <laughs> Sorry, prez. Let's get it right. I'd love to. That guy is like seven feet tall. He's very tall. Mm. Assassins from Senpu Temple. Short stature were bamboo hats. I've seen them, yeah. A number of rats are lurking about. Last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. Hmm. Okay, okay. I've seen at least two or three of all these rats. I've already killed some. Does that help? Nah, I suppose not. But we got something to look forward to them. We got an area, we got a face. We got a reason to kill. That's all we need. Game, try to hide an NPC from it though. I see you. Yeah, but I'm very dirty. Holy shit. I need a shower. I guess I just have to kill all the soldiers as well, then. Not really. Not that spiritual. Have you seen that channel? Spiritual Science? That's a crazy channel. Like the craziest channel. It's like... <laughs> it's like they got the animator from like extra credits. And made like cult introduction videos. Um... Uh, it's very bizarre. Bizarre. It, tore, it made a re video recently about the coronavirus, uh, where he takes like the etymology of the coronavirus and corona, like the word, and says that there's some higher meaning to that, like that the virus is some sort of um, uh, karmic retribution uh, for what we've done to nature. It's basically like ecofascism, which which tries to like justify maybe. Culling 
some people, you know, maybe over overpopulation did this, maybe, in order to deal with the coronavirus, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It is the craziest shit. It, it's a good channel, though. I love cults, but oh, that's a crazy one. <laughs> I, I believe he runs an actual cult as well. I believe. This is, it's not just like a crazy guy on the internet that makes his videos. I believe he might actually run a cult. Not super sure about that. Allegedly. Um... Don't sue me. Sp spiritual science. Just saying you're crazy. I'm pretty sure that's legal. As <laughs> 100 coins. That'll take me one step towards that 500. Just need like 200 more now, right? I can't see my souls. No, I'm gold even right now. But I'm pretty sure I was pretty darn close. Also, I felt like the, the layout of that building was the... Way different than what it actually was. I feel like I felt like it was way taller. Yeah. I swear there was more to the building than the actual was. Yeah, it looks huge, but I mean it's big, but you know, it's just two floors with like a like I can pretend. There we go. A pretend third floor means you can access my grapple hooking up there. I, w I was very uh, very sure that it was more than meets the eye here. Ah, you jump from here. That explains the the exposed scaffolding here. Beautiful. Then we go up in the middle there maybe. Like here. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more trial and error from here from from here. Because uh, uh, I've actually not done this platforming here before. I guess we can maybe just do this. Maybe not from there, but from here. We can. Excellent. It's not so very lenient about very grapple hook. At all. I feel like they more so made points where you can grapple hook. Rather than made some sort of uh, mechanical... Uh ability to you to grapple hook to grapple hookable surfaces you know what i mean it doesn't it has few points that they've designed rather than uh, designing a way for you to find grappleable points you know what i mean i, I feel like there's some distinction there basically i'm saying it's it's stricter than than maybe you'd think Prayer beads. I'll take that. Very nice. And there are some stairs up, which uh, leads to nowhere. That would be the roof, I guess, and we can't go there. Because if we got to the roof, there would probably be a lot of uh, weird things to see around. Imagine the, there are things around here we are not meant to see. Although, the game is pretty open. Well, at least has the illusion of being very open when you look uh, uh, at a view. It is pretty, like, uh, expansive. Is that a word? Rip. Like, it, it kind of just allows you to get to a lot of places. It's pretty great. Man, I remember when uh, Assassin's Creed came out and I had a mate who was just so excited. That you could just climb on everything. Uh, there was a, such a time when people could say that and not laugh at you for making a Suicide uh, Squad reference. <laughs> oh. And Ezio, the man who can climb anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lucky he didn't have a, some sort of explosive color. All the climbing he does. I haven't actually played an Assassin's Creed game in a long time. I played um, a bit of two, never finished it, and I finished two. And I kind of had to fill from that. Like, uh, playing a lot of two was just like, eh, you know, it's all you need. Assassin's Creed 3 came out, and 
you know. A lot of people said it was kind of meh. It has some, old, has some interesting multiplayer that I'm kind of into, because it was kind of like The Ship, which was a game I really wanted to succeed, actually. It was like um, a game of mistaken identity, you know. You, you go around, you try to trick people into thinking you're NPC. Oh man, I wanted that eavesdrop, but whatever. I think we're just gonna have to kill them. Unless they forget about me. Hey, just forget about me, okay? You can explore this area for a while. Oh, that's uh, why we can't get in here, then. That explains that. No, we can't eavesdrop on these guys. You'd think you, you would. Alright, so wait a second. Let's actually try some stealth here. So these guys, you can't backstab them. So let's try to throw one of these. Um, that didn't go the way I hoped it would. Alright, so that's a very crap item and very hard to use. Extremely hard to use. Do you actually have to throw it at people for people to notice it as well? How are they not noticing me? Oh, there's enemies behind me. Ah, that explains why this encounter may not be favorable to take them. This is a bunch of doggers there. Dogs are, uh, aren't uh, that big a deal in this game, fortunately. They kind of scale back on that whole dogs are the worst enemies in video games thing in this game. Since they just take one hit. And that was like the worst things uh, about dogs in Dark Souls games usually. Because uh, sometimes they would um, take multiple hits and you'd also like bounce them away from it when you attacked them. So they'd have, um, <clears throat> they'd have a good chance of like trying to uh, surprise you with like a really quick attack again, you know. I can't see if you no. These are the rats there, right? Oh, they block me with the hats. That's how they get you. That makes that a lot easier. I was thinking like, oh, maybe the fire takes them out? But we do have precedence uh, for Axe being better at uh, fire, at uh, taking things out, breaking things. There we go. That was much easier. That explains why we are having some trouble with that um, rat early as well then. After the bonfire, where I was like, oh my god, these guys. This guy's real bad. What the hell? <laughs> What's going on here? Like, he messed me up. And that's because he blocks you with uh, his hat, so I wasn't actually, like, doing very optimal damage to him at all. Hmm. I would love to heal up, but I don't really want to rest and reset the area, to be honest. I've... You don't really need to rest up in this game. Because, um, when you go weak, you can just uh, try to commit to having less combat encounters and just try to stealth more. You know? Like, if things get a bit too hard, you can just, like, try avoiding the combat. It's It's been, like, pretty uh, lenient with just not having you fight things. Oh, no, no. Because, like, right now, th this looks a bit hairy, right? Like, you can pretty easily just, like, get out of here. That's nice. You, you get some options. You get some choice. Uh, that may sound like I am uh, weighing in. Oh, hello. On that whole, like, Sekiro easy mode difficulty thing. Uh, I'm not. Because uh, the only correct um, answer to that whole thing is, why not? That's the only correct answer. <laughs> no! Oh, these guys are messing me up, actually. Um... Hmm. 
Hmm. What sort of options do we have even? Yeah, I don't really want to fight these guys, is the thing. I'm pretty sure I saw a boss fight over that one. Oh, the range on that is really bad. Real, real, real bad. Yeah, shurikens, not great. What sort of damage does he actually do? Not great, but it does stagger. Uh, we do have a resurrect actually available. That's a heal. This is a really bad fight right now, though. Both these guys at the same time? No. I'm just gonna run around a bit and uh, scout. Well, it can't get me up here. It might not even be able to see me up here. Mm. Might be a couple of bosses here. Is that right? Maybe I shouldn't even kill any ads in the rhythm. There's definitely a boss encounter over there. But it's for sure gonna be one in the swirl, I think. Not for sure. I think there might be a mini boss in there. What are they even doing? What's like your job right now? Are just like evening the ground? It's a very uneven ground though. Are you like gonna try to build something here? On the hill? Might be like some sort of farming thing that I don't, that I don't get. There's probably some reason in farming to... To hammer the ground. No, oh, no, I'm dead. That's fine. Just scouting. Basically, I just uh, didn't really want to like... Reset to that. So uh, I'll take the uh, resurrect as just like a um, a heal, basically. So they're fine by me. Oh man, I, I do feel a lot stronger actually than I, I used to be. For sure. Because uh, that used to be three hits to kill those guys, and now it's two hits. And that's actually counting the. Um, the. Uh, Execution as well, as part of that uh, two-hit combo. That guy is terrible at his job. <laughs> not uh, do they not even have peripheral vision? They don't even have uh, vision. The X-Men. I think that's an X-Men. Might be. I never. Oh, I see. There's the thing. Doesn't differentiate between friend of Okay, I don't think that's uh, helped me a whole, whole bunch actually. That's a pretty cool enemy though. I, I, I like his, uh, I like the cut of your jib, buddy. That's me dead, but I do have another resurrect. Can we block this guy? I think we can block him, but it will make us uh, be slightly on fire. It doesn't have a crazy amount of health, but it's very aggressive and hard to land hits on. I think this might be a jump enemy as well. So far it's helped and I've not even like done a good job of jumping. Yeah, that's where uh, that's the case where I would see jumping not being super great. <laughs> and honestly, that, that strikes me as a good timing to uh, to take a little break. Uh, because I need to figure out how the fuck I'm going to cut these videos together. <laughs> yeah, so, thank you all very much for joining me for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you another time. Take easy. See ya. Goodbye.